Hello, my name is Barry. I'd like to welcome you to an interesting review of Dr. Jim Richard's book, How to Stop the Pain. This gentleman that I'm talking about is the founder and leader of Impact Ministry. One of the things that they do is help people with a lot of inner healing and learning about the love of God the Father, expressed through his son Jesus. But first, I want to welcome you to Christianity Explained, where my goal is to provide a book review, short Bible study. On Saturday, I do a live stream talking about church culture. I hope to get guests who will show up there. Now let's get on with the reason you're here, and that is a discussion or a review of Dr. Jim Richards' book, How to Stop the Pain. How do I deal with the past memories that are hurting me? I need healing in the heart. That's typically the reason why someone would want to read this book. It really is interesting. There is one thing you should know. Dr. Richard isn't exactly talking in a vacuum. <laughs> he is the founder and leader of a ministry called Impact Ministry that centers on the love of the Father, and he shares a whole lot of books that are designed to be of value and help in different ways, especially in a healing, learning about grace, and all that. I will provide a link to that ministry in the description below. So who is this book directed at? If you're like me, it's quite possible you're the one who says, hey, I am not in a place where I could trust others to help me. I'd rather do this on my own. 20 years yeah. ago, that's when the book was actually written, December 2001, I would have done that. <laughs> and it would have been of help in certain ways, but not as fully if I had taken the advice I put in the blog post, and that is, let others help you with the healing that needs to be done. Don't try to diagnose it yourself. Mm -hmm. Of course, you, could, you would also be advised, and I would advise it, at the Holy Spirit. See, a lot of times, books like these are great in dealing with one specific issue. And that's what Dr. Richard does in his book. He is dealing with the pain of judgment and the, in the different way that judging is expressed. I really appreciate that. I appreciate the fact that he did take the time to do that. And he also dealt with one other issue. Being hmm. somebody who had been on the receiving end of judgment, I have to admit that, yeah, not only was I on the receiving end, I also judged others out of the hurt and pain that I suffered. I'll be very specific. As a person with disability, I've had some people meaning well say, oh, Bab, you belong in a sheltered work program. What are you doing? They, were, they was, couldn't see that my writing would be of value to others, and they just couldn't understand that I could not sit in a sheltered work program working that way. It was depressing to me. It was hurt. I didn't have the grace to go in there. And because of that, I would turn around and say, okay, because of my painful experience here and a couple others, uh, I'm going to expect, oh, especially the religious crowd, oh, you think this, you think that. Well, uh, I got news for you. Yes, while I may have been right at the time, and I was right, it doesn't excuse my judging, projecting what I thought and believed onto everybody right. else. It's just one of those cases where I could definitely say yes, yeah, because I have been on the receiving end of it. So there's really no arguing there. But uh, it doesn't excuse me projecting my past experience on other people. And that was wrong. Because <laughs> not everybody thought that. More often than not, without ignorance. And without the healing that I've gone through, 
I wouldn't have saw that at that time. That's why uh, this is a book that's really best done in a Bible study group with friends who do care, who would have cared about me and say, Beth, let's help you work through that. That's not how we're seeing. They could have told me, no, this isn't how we're seeing you. And I slowly would have learned to recognize that, yeah, I can trust them to tell me the actual truth, and that they're not intending malice. That's why I really recommend a group. In a healing ministries, uh, those are type, I know, I've heard uh, some people, but dude, you need inner healing ministry, pastoral counseling. Get it! Okay? No if and or but on that. Because those things were a great help to me when I enrolled in my first transform class. We used two different books, but it was a help nevertheless. This book would have probably have went right along with it. It would have been an additional book aside from the two main ones we used. And the principle was the same. Here's another step uh, with using a book like this, prayer and reading the scripture. Yes, Dr. Jim Richard does uh, point to script various scriptures, but it's still a good idea to read the, the text within the Bible you're using. That way you can grow with confidence, like, wow, wait a minute, the Lord actually said that? And you don't, and you see that he's not making it up. It's actually there. And you see, may discover other wonderful treasures. One, two, prayer. I am a firm believer that prayer, talking with the Father, letting the Holy Spirit come and minister to your heart and help you overcome. I could definitely, I was definitely doing that when I was reading this book. It was a really a great experience. So yeah, I would definitely recommend it, especially in the context that I mentioned, connected with an inner healing type ministry, pastoral counseling, or perhaps your church uh, has something, can do something like have a class that centers on books like this, and you, in, within the confines of that group, you work through various issues. I knew of one church that ha was doing a class on boundaries from uh, Dr. McLeod. Great idea. This book would be great for that. <laughs> it's challenging. Is and this yeah. guy strict? Well, I don't know. Uh, I see no harm in what he's trying to do. But again, let God direct you. Now, here's another caution I have to give. And it's very much at the reason why I said uh, connect with an inner healing ministry. This is what my friends would have been able to tell me uh, if I had connected with them, if they could have connected with me in the past, that is. Uh, Beth, you're not just dealing with one issue. you also got some of these other issues. Um, uh, Robert McGee's Search for Significant would be a big help over here in a lot of this area. Danny jokes, keep your love on, and others can be a great help to help you with your path towards healing and hold it. Reading these script, various scriptures can be a help. They can provide things that I wouldn't have done uh, on my own or it would have been in a piecemeal fashion. So, yes, this is a great book, but I wouldn't use it by itself. It can only handle one area. In fact, I've seen some comments from people on Amazon who said the same thing. Hey, yeah, this was beautiful over here, but it didn't deal with this area. That's why an inner healing ministry or good pastoral counseling would be a great place to start. All right. I want to thank you for your time and hope you have a blessed day. See you when I see you.